Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to install OpenJDK 14 and uh, the IntelliJ IDE on macOS. So we could do it externally by, by downloading the JDK separately, but we're going to do it this time on macOS using uh, the internal system in IntelliJ. So we're going to download IntelliJ Community Edition, Intel, and we're going to do the download. It'll take a couple minutes. I'm fast forwarding through this. Once it's in, we open up the image and we will drag the application into applications, just like most standard applications in macOS. Once that's in there, it's been transferred over, we open up IntelliJ and we'll be asked to verify that we actually want to open it because that's just a security feature. We say uh, open, yep, like that. Privacy policy, we agree, we don't send information and we're going to start a new project. So we start the new project and we'll find out that uh, the project says that there's no SDK. We have to download an SDK. Which one? Well, by default, it'll be whatever the most recent one is. In this case, it's 15, but we're not going to download 15, although you could if you wanted to. Everything's being uh, tested for version 14 this year in the uh, 2021 uh, edition of the class. So instead of 15, we're going to choose 14 and we're going to choose the J9 uh, Open SDK from uh, Adopt instead of the Oracle Open JDK or the um, the other JDKs. The difference between Hotspot and Open J9, I, I can't really see much of a difference uh, as it would affect students in our class. You could probably go with either one. For the Windows version of uh, this demo, we're doing the Hotspot version. For the Mac OS, we'll download the J9 um, version. Okay. So either way, it doesn't really matter. So we're, but it has to be the uh, Open SDK version 14, whether it's Hotspot or J9. So we've now got it in there. Uh, IntelliJ sees it uh, as an option for a project, and now we're going to create our new project. We name it, and then we're going to click on Project. We're going to go to Source in Project after clicking through the tip. Here we go, and we're going to right-click New Java Class. And this is just going to be the name of our Java class. We can name it whatever we want. That will be the default name for the .java file. Anyway, right now we're going to make a method called main. So public static void main string args. Inside of a curly braces, we're going to do a system out print line. So here we go. System dot out dot print line. And I'm going to put some arbitrary string in here. We're going to compile using the hammer tool. Okay, so we're there on the right hand side. There we go with the green hammer. It compiles and then we're going to run the method. So that's the little green triangle right there. So we're going to run it and then a console will pop up and it'll show that the string was able to print to the screen. So that's one way to do it. Um, and, and so we can see that the JDK is working within IntelliJ. You can change your settings so it can be a light background instead of a dark background. You can do this in Windows and in Mac OS. And here we're going to open up a terminal and make sure that the J shell is working to make sure that you, we can access the Java shell as well after the download from IntelliJ. And uh, we're going to do a system out print line and it works. 